So a while ago, I was hanging out with a bunch of my friends, one of them came up to me and he was like, Adam, dude, you're such a nerd. Like, you're just such a nerd, man. And I'm sitting here, and I'm, and I'm starting to panic. I'm like, oh God, oh God. What gave it away? What, what gave it away? It had to be, it, it, it's, it's the fact that I alphabetize all my video games, isn't it? No, no. It's the fact that I know the developers of all the video games, no. It's the fact that I know the alphabetical names of all the developers of video games, oh God, oh God. It's, it's all given away, and no, no, it's not that. It's the math jokes. I knew it was the math jokes. Curse you, imaginary numbers. Your comedic value has slain me once again. Two math nerds in one a night. What are the odds? <laughs> he says, nah, man, it's, it's not any of that, dude. It's, it's all those tabletop games. It's that Dungeons and Dragons stuff, man. You always talk about it. <sighs> okay. I'm a nerd, I, I, I admit that. And yes, I talk a lot about Dungeons and Dragons and tabletop role-playing games in general, but that does not make me a nerd. These things are not the same. They are two orthogonal vectors of the wonderful personality that I am. <laughs> These games are not for nerds. They are not for you know some weird other class of people. They're for everybody. They're for the people in this room. They're for people not in this room watching this on the internet. They're for people across the world, and especially nowadays, where there have been so much efforts to make these games more open, more accessible, more quick to play. Anybody can play them. And beyond all this accessibility stuff, you know, beyond all that high-minded, you know, nice stuff, oh yeah, everybody play, they're fun. They're enjoyable. It's not like you're just sitting there and you're doing calculator stuff like, oh, five plus seven, blah, blah. No, no, it's really enjoyable. You really get into these games. And so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to hopefully convince you to maybe pick some of these up. Now these are a couple of my favorite games and I'm not gonna talk about individual games because there's too many. There are simply too much. I went on Wikipedia, I thought, oh, you know, I'll do that. No, no, there's simply way too many games out there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to give you a bunch of tools that you can use to maybe evaluate games by yourself and determine, well, is this the right one for me? Like, is this what I wanna do? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm not gonna talk about specific games, although if you meet at me afterwards, I would love to. <laughs> Okay, so um, what all these games kind of have in common is that they all revolve around some kind of core concept, some kind of core, sometimes it's a rule, sometimes it's a, a character concept, but, that, but it all exists. Each one of these games have it. And all good tabletop role-playing games, I argue, are revolve around this core, this absolute core, this intellectual center around which the entirety of the game involves. Now, some of these cores, are a rule, like, oh, you always have to roll this kind of dice to determine what your outcome. Uh, some of them are not, like these games, a couple, bunch of, couple of these games up here require no dice whatsoever. So it's all about just knowing, you know, what your character is. Sometimes it's about, you know, a character trait that you have or that your character trait that you share with a bunch of, with your entire party, as it were. But that's what's important, is to find this core. Now, for some of these games, this core is very, very difficult to find because some of these guides are not written very well. But it always exists, it's always there, and <laughs> for beginner games, they're usually listed in like the first page. So it shouldn't be too hard to find, but it always exists. Now the second thing that's important is you need a time and a place to meet and to actually play the game. Unlike you know, video games where you can just log on the internet and you know, just whatever, these games are very spatially oriented. And I know how hard it can be to get a bunch of people in the same room. I've known I was a presenter at Ignite for weeks and I was an hour late. So we've all been there. Now, it doesn't have to be some kind of, you know, basement or anything like that. It can be, you know, a nice open living room. It can be out in your patio, wherever. Just to be a little spacious, you know, a little nice. And the most important thing, the key thing that you need to bring to these games is a group of people, a group of friends, and a group of friends who aren't afraid to roll the dice, as it were. Uh, three is probably too few. Six is probably too many. But once again, it's a per group, it's a per person thing. Because what these games are about more than you know, the dragons and more than you know, being a superhero or the, you know, the lasers or the flights or whatever it is. They're about human interaction. They're about really getting to know people. They're about seeing your friends as you do not normally see them. They're about chilling out with them, being cool, man. It's really about trying to find like, weird aspects. Like, it's about putting people in these odd situations that you would never ever think to be put in, but how would you react? How would your friends react? Because we all know being alone sucks. Being lonely and being depressed, like that's very, that's, it's very bad. So you really need a strong group of people. And so I never understood why people would, you know, sit at home or sit with their buddies and like drink some beer, which you could do by yourself. Or you could get a bunch of people together and play some of these role-playing games, which you can't do by yourself. 
Um, once again, I'm going to be uh, out back after hours after the stuff. Um, uh, these are some websites you should probably check out if you're interested. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the night, folks. <laughs> <laughs>